So hi and welcome to this video. So today what you're going to be learning how to do is you're going to be learning how to uh, create a virtual machine in Python. So uh, what a virtual machine is, is, it's basically kind of like a virtual computer that runs within your own computer. And uh, the reason uh, virtual machines are used is mainly they're used for things like programming languages. So a programming language uh, like C for example would take C source code and um, convert it down into uh, machine code which is basically like ones and zeros so loads of binary code and it, uh, it converts it to uh, machine code that is specific to the processor uh, of the computer but um, what a virtual machine does is it's a program uh, that runs on the computer and what you would do if you had a programming language that used a virtual machine is you would have um, the programming language would convert the, the uh, source code into machine code but the machine code will be specific to the virtual machine rather than the computer that it runs on. Uh, the, the advantage of this is because is uh, that uh, if wherever your virtual machine runs, your uh, programs will run. So, for example, if you write a program uh, in C and you convert it into uh, machine code, so basically you convert it into an executable file that you can actually use your program. Uh, that program will only run on computers that have the same uh, processor architecture as the one you, you compiled it on. But if you have a virtual machine uh, anywhere you can, anywhere you compile your virtual machine is where the code for that will run. So you don't need to alter any of it or anything. So that's why they're used. And today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to create one. So the next thing you'll notice is I'm on this website called PyPy. And what PyPy is is it's a project that is um, the project's goal is to create an implementation of the Python programming language uh, that is written in Python itself. Uh, and the reason I'm on this page. Uh, on this website, I mean, is because PyPy has um, this tool called translate.py, and what it does is it uh, converts Python code into C and then compiles it into an executable. The reason uh, we're going to do this is because if we uh, just run ours inside, if we just write it in normal Python and run it, uh, our virtual machine will be really slow because uh, Python itself runs in a virtual machine, so then basically this means our virtual machine will be running inside of a virtual machine. Uh, that's running on a processor. So we are by converting it to C using PyPy, uh, we're going to eliminate that step and make our uh, virtual machine a lot quicker. So to get started, what you're going to do is you're going to click download on the PyPy uh, homepage, and you're going to scroll down, uh, and you're going to find uh, the source. So we're going to click uh, download on the source of PyPy. So this is going to download the PyPy source code uh, into the uh, downloads folder obviously on my computer and the reason we're downloading this is because the uh, PyPy source is where we're going to find um, the translator that will turn our Python code into PyPy I mean into C uh, code that can be compiled. Okay so uh, we're just going to open it up and here it is. So uh, as you can see here there's a folder called rpython and in PyPy um, you can't just convert normal Python code into C because Python's a much higher level language than C is. So what PyPy has is it's uh, got a language called RPython, which it, it stands for Restricted Python. So it's kind of similar to Python. For what we're going to be doing, it's going to be basically exactly the same. Um, but there is a few differences. But uh, don't you don't need to worry about them because for what, what we're going to be doing, you're not going to notice them. So here's an RPython folder. So what I'm going to do is... Um, you could just copy it. Instead of copying it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sim link and I'll show you how to do that now. So uh, here I am in my terminal and I'm in a folder called virtual machine. It's all actually on my desktop and as you can see I also have a folder called vm.py which is here but this is just a blank file. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sim link which is just a shortcut basically to the um, our Python folder. So I'm going to say ln minus s and I'm going to drag in the folder rpython and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call it rpython so what that did is it created a shortcut uh, called rpython so now I can access the rpython folder so if I type in cd rpython and I can press tab and it will fill it in for me uh, as you can see now I can see everything in the rpython folder so that's all I'm going to be showing you how to do in this introduction video in the next video we're going to be actually uh, doing some code so uh, look forward to that. So once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.